Katsucon 2019 was insane. Seriously, I still feel as if I'm wrapping my mind around everything that went on this weekend. If seeing a literal sea of people fill the Gaylord didn't get me, maybe it was being absolutely ravaged by hyper potions on Saturday night. God, that was such an insane set, dude. Perhaps it was some of the most insane cosplay I've seen in my life. No other con I've been to has held a candle to Katsukon in terms of both talent and creativity. And I'm definitely including Sombra's voice actor, who, by the way, was one of the sweetest people I've ever met. There were also a ton of Homestuck cosplayers. Don't think I didn't see you guys. Love you so much. Wait, wait, I've got it. I know what it was. It was the $12 I spent on a single Italian sub. <laughs> oh my gosh. That definitely got me. That one really did it to me. I get that con food is expensive, but it wasn't even that good. <laughs> I spent six dollars on a Red Bull there, dude. I, I, come on. Back to reality. The vendor's hall was great. The artist alley was amazing. Each had surprisingly great spacing and some wonderful merchants and artists respectively. I got, I got this really cute, really cute pronouns button. Look at it. Look at this button. Look at how cute this button is, man. Oh, and, and look, look at the, look at, hold on a second. Look, at these paws. <laughs> Look at these, dude. I'm not even that much of, of a furry, but I just, I just, <laughs> and I also got this tail, but wait. It squeaks, it squeaks, it squeaks. It squeaks, dude. There was a lot to celebrate at this con. Seriously, dude. But unfortunately, the positives end here. There's a lot we need to talk about, Katsukon. For every positive you bring, you bring a negative that a con of your size and history really shouldn't have. Usually I focus on just the positive in these reviews, but there are some things that seriously need addressing. First and foremost, we need to talk about the bane of every single anime convention. Mention. Line management. Lines, they're inevitable, especially at a convention the size of KatsuCon. So I just can't understand why there wasn't greater emphasis put on line management. It just felt like the effort was so minimal and so spread out that it didn't really have any impact. And when they did do it, it felt as if they were doing it to cover Katsukon's ass, not to make it easier for us, but to make it so they as an entity did not get in trouble. Which I get that, but that just led to frustration on the behalf of us attendees. More so, I can't begin to count how many times I had to ask people in a line what they were standing in line for. There would be a mass of people close to three or four panel rooms, and there were no clear markers as to which line led to where, where people should stand. It was just confusing, unnecessarily so. And when I asked these people what they were standing in line for, their answer more often than not was, I think I'm standing in line for blank. Nobody really knew. They just kind of had to guess and hope that when they got close enough, they could switch if they were in the wrong line. That shouldn't happen. They shouldn't be wondering. At a convention this big, lines should be clearly defined. Another big example of this, all day on Saturday, from the opening of the convention, there was a line to the dealer's room. And there was one member of staff separating the hallway from the line. And that was it. At Momocon, a comparably sized convention, they had five or six people with megaphones telling people what the line was for, keeping people informed. That's how it should be. The staff felt almost completely unprepared, as if they didn't know there were gonna be this many people in attendance. And while I would love to defend Katsukon on this, once again, Momocon does it correctly, and it's a comparably sized convention. I never want to bash convention management, but this is a little bit unexcusable. Which leads me into my next point, the management staff as a whole. I am not in any way going to outright diss the Katsukon staff. I know how much of a monumental task it is running an anime convention, especially, once again, one the size of Katsukon. But there were just some outright weird policies that were not explained, and I've never seen at any other convention. For instance, the game room had a policy where you couldn't bring a bag in that was big enough to fit a controller in. That was their basis. That was the rule. This rule loosely existed on Friday. Multiple bags were allowed in that were 
full backpacks. But then towards the end of the day, Friday, they got smaller and smaller. And then on Saturday, almost no bags were allowed in. Not only is this rule subjective, because there's many different sizes of controllers. Fight sticks to chunkier Xbox controllers to smaller PS4 controllers. It's a very subjective rule. And no matter how many times they were questioned, none of the staff seemed to know why that was a rule. I assume it's a safety thing, but it wasn't stated anywhere. On top of this, there was just this weird, hostile, angry attitude coming from all the staff members. There were, as always, some helpful staff members, but overall, everyone just seemed kind of angry to be there, as if the whole event was just an inconvenience. And once again, I get it, it's hard to do. It can be a stressful situation, but being upset in a stressful situation only adds to the stress of others. It was just very unprofessionally handled, which made a lot of things worse, including my next point, which is navigation. In a convention center the size of the Gaylord, you need something other than the convention map on the app to guide attendees to events. It just isn't enough for a convention center the size of the Gaylord. There are three floors in three different sections of the convention center spanning from both ends. And on top of this, Katsukon added their own names, which usually help at most conventions, but there wasn't enough proper signage and it only made things more confusing. There wasn't even a sign pointing towards registration. There was one towards the end of the day on Saturday that said this door is for registration registration only and it was on the far right side completely away from the actual entrance to the hotel every single direction you got to registration was through word of mouth it was it was weird but despite these qualms I still had a really amazing time. KatsuCon was bar none, one of my favorite conventions of all time, and I'll definitely be back next year. I only hope that there is enough feedback from the attendees to get some of these things changed and bring more order, more information, more communication, just an overall, better centered convention from KatsuCon. It's so close, man. We've got this. Talk to them. Let them know, dude. And most importantly, I can't wait to see all the cool people I met again next February. And beyond that, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Did you go to KatsuCon? If you did, let me know if you resonate with any of these issues that I said in the comments down below. I really hope some of this feedback reaches KatsuCon. Beyond that, hit me up in all the socials surrounding your screen. And above all else, guys, be safe, make good choices, have a wonderful day, guys. Peace out.